Good day gentle people, it's your favorite Mr. 42. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna have a closer look at the black swan image. Big welcome to my latest patron, Jan Diederiksen. Thank you very much for your support. I think most of us are familiar with this image. A still frame from a video by Flat Earther BMLS B69. Called Ocean Horizon Rising, Atmosphere, Blocking Visibility, Not Curvature. The Flat Earthers call it the Black Swan image. The term Black Swan refers to the story that Westerners believed all swans were white simply because that was all they have ever seen. Until that belief was rubbished when Australia was discovered and the first black swan was found. I find it rather hilarious that flat earthers chose a story from Australia to push the narrative. But that is besides the point. I have watched the black swan image being debunked, but I never really looked into it myself. Which is fine as I also never used it as an argument before. But that's exactly what I decided to do today. I'm not gonna play the video today as it is quite boring. But I will show you a few stills and narrate it. This is the first image right after the title screen. The eagle Kinabalu is partly hidden behind the horizon and no amount of zoom is gonna bring that back. This second image in the video shows us a building at different distances. The further away, the more of the bottom is hidden behind the horizon. This is not looking so good for flat earth at all. This is also a still frame from that video. Remember that it was made by a flat earther. He readily admits here that on most days the platforms will appear to be behind the horizon, curvature of the earth. Now we see two pictures of one of the platforms up close. This comes in handy when you want to measure and calculate, which I am not going to do today. And now the black swan for the black swan. This is what the flat earthers don't want you to see and what they will never include in their black swan videos. This image shows how the same platforms appear on most of the days. If they want to use the cherry picked black swan image as evidence for flat earth, they must be able to explain this one as well. And they've never been able to. There is also this close image for the other platform, of which the bottom completely disappears. And remember, this is zoomed in. Once in a while, not very often, there will be days when conditions are right to see full image. What these conditions are, according to this flat earther, is not explained in this video. This is approximately where they cherry picked the black swan image from. Same location, same elevation, different horizon levels. Again, this difference is never explained in this video but the Fleurs ran with it and claimed victory. Of course, it has been thoroughly debunked by various people, but that has the same effect as explaining quantum physics to my cat. Besides a text overlay, no curvature, there is nothing more to this video. That is really it. That is the whole Black Swan video. No wonder the stupid flurs can handle it in full. As an exception I will link it in the description, as it is already easy enough to find anyway. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And in the description you will find links to my socials like Discord and Twitter. This has been Mr. 482, out. Don't panic.